Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are required to measure the following angle using a protractor. Now, using a protractor, this particular angle would be equal to about 120 degrees, okay? And to draw the angle PQR, step one. Do draw a straight line first. And for this straight line, please label PQ. Next. Now we are going to use a protractor and measure 75 degrees from Q because thereafter draw a straight line up and this will be 75 degrees do labor R so that this will be PQR Alright, with that we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to write a simplified algebraic expression for each of the following. A plus A this will give me 2A, two of them. B plus B plus B, how many are there? 3B, and this will be a positive 3B, and that will be good enough, okay? What about B times B times B. Well, this will give us B to the power of 3. Okay, this is important. Huh? Please remember that. B cubed. And the last one. When we will have letter M. Divide by 4. Well, although we know that diva is this sign, in algebra, we usually like to write in fraction. So in this case, m divide by 4. And we are good. And we have finished solving this particular question. So with that, we have come to the end of this part of the video. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Hello everyone, welcome to this part of the video where we are given that AOB is a straight line. Find the angle E. Now we know. This is important. Okay. For a straight line, they add up to 180 degrees. Very good. And so, to find this angle E, then it is simply equals to 180 minus away 78 and minus away 15. And that will give me a value of. 87 okay so for this particular question just take note that the reason is you don't have to write the reason for this case but just take note that this is because it is adjacent angles on a straight line all right with that we have come to the end of this part of the video if you like this video do give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and have a nice day 
Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are required to find the value of f. First thing first, this is important. This means that this is a 90 degree right angle. Next, one whole circle represents 300 and yes, 60 degree because it is angles at a point that means my F is simply 360 minus away my 156 as well as the right angle that will give me a value of 114 with that, we have come to the end of this part of the video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Hello everyone, welcome to this part of the video where we are given that M. O N. And X O Y a straight line. Find G. Ah, since they are straight line, this angle and this angle, they are the same because they are what we call vertically opposite. Angles. That means to find the letter G, it is simply 82 minus 15, 67. And that's the value of G. With that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Hello everyone, welcome to this part of the video where we are required to complete this particular figure. Okay, so that it is symmetrical about the dotted line. That means it's like a mirror image. Okay, so I'm going to have this particular point here because it is 1, 2, Three, one, two, three. <coughs> so it's like a mirror image, okay? So with that, I will then be able to successfully complete this particular drawing. With that, we have come to the end of this part of the problem thank you for watching so far and have a nice day hello everyone welcome to this part of the video where we are given this particular road sign and we are required to state the number of lines of symmetry for this road sign hmm well, let's try to kind of draw. Ha! Huh, this is one. Because then I will be able to fold this into half easily. Which means that here. Two. Ha! Huh, I can do this as well. Three. I can do this too. Four. Is there any more? Nope. So the answer is four. And we have come to the end of this particular problem solving of this question. Well, so if you like this video so far, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. 
Hello everyone, welcome to this part of the video where we are required to draw all the lines of symmetry lines of symmetry for this diagram so let's see huh. I could draw this that's one I could draw this as well. That's two. And I could draw this. Neatly. And that's all. And that's all the lines of symmetry that I can draw. And we have successfully solved this problem. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And let's move on to the next question. Hello everyone, welcome to this problem on the pictogram. So let's zoom in. <coughs> okay. The first thing that Mr. Tang always sees is that each flower is 40 bouquets of flowers. 40, uh, which means that if I see half okay half would mean that what is 40 divided by 2 yes 20 so this is 20 this is still 40 so for week 4 I would have 20 plus 40 60 bouquets of flowers alright also just to take note what is one quarter so this part here I just want to highlight the one quarter then just want to highlight somewhere here probably in purple One quarter means that it is, it is going to be 40 divided by 4, 10. Okay, so that is for us to take note later on. Part B. <gasps> week 6. Okay, week 6 I will have this, this, this. <coughs> 40, 40, 40. So I will have 40. 40, 40, so 40 plus 40 is 80, 80 plus 40, 120. So for week 6, total will be 130. Week 5, 40, 80, 120. It is 40, 80, 120. So how many more were so in week six than in week five? Ten more. State the number of weeks where the number of books flower soap were eighty or less. So let's start counting, okay? So we will have Let's see. You have 40 and 40. This will give me 80 in total. This is only 40. This will be 40, 80, 120, 100 and 60. 
Just now I have 60, yes? So for the last question, where we have 80 or less, I have 1, 2, 3. So all together, there are 3 weeks that where the number of bouquet of flowers so were 80 bouquets or less with that we have successfully solved this problem and thank you for watching and let's continue to move on to the next problem to solve hello everyone welcome to this question on rotational symmetry and we are required to state the order of rotational symmetry for these two shapes let's zoom in on the first shape then okay so mr tan would like to just make sure that <coughs> we will reach back here so this is my starting point and mr tan going to do this Mr. Tan going to rotate this and count the number of times that we see this exact same shape. And Mr. Tan going to turn it from one full round, 360 degrees. Okay, let's start counting. Okay. One. Two, three, four. So in total, I see four times that it is exactly the same. I having turned one round of three hundred and sixty degrees. Okay, so the answer is four. Now for the other, for the other shape. Let's do the same again. Mr. Tan just need to indicate that this is how it was original. Are we ready? Let's start turning. Okay. Nope. Mm, nope. It doesn't look like. Nope. And one. So having turned one full round of 360 degree, there's only one time I see the exact same shape. Okay, so the answer is one. With that, we have successfully solved this particular problem. Thank you for watching so far. And if you like this video at any point in time, do give it a thumbs up. Let's move on to the next question. Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are required to see which letters of the following has rotational symmetry of 2 meaning if we turn the letters one round 360 degrees we should see that same letter in the exact sh form and shape two times okay so let us see for all so let us see i'm going to turn mm, slowly nope no nope. ha so this only have one rotational order of one so this one C is not okay. So C is out. Next, let's try letter O. Okay, let's start turning. No. Okay, O is like a little over shape. Okay, one time. No, two times. 
So O is one of the answer. Let's try N. Mm, no. One. Two. So N is also one of the answer. Okay, we are left with two more letters to try. E. Let's see. For letter E. Hmm. No. And having gone one round, there's only one time we see letter E exactly the same. So letter E is also not. And let's try letter R. Mm, no. No. Ha. One time or so. So letter R is not. And therefore, the only letters that have rotational symmetry of 2 is O and N. And we have successfully solved this problem. If you like this video at any point in time, do give it a thumbs up. And let's move on to the next question. Hello everyone, welcome to this question where we are given A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, H are straight lines. And there is also a parallel line, E, F, parallel to G, H. Find the size of the unknown angle at R and S. Okay. So it is important to see that since we have parallel lines, I hope you can see that R and this 105 degrees, they are actually alternate angles. And therefore, R is 105. Okay. Next, you need to see also that, hey, this is the parallel line. So S. And one hundred and and this ninety two degrees, it is actually interior angles, and interior angles add up to one hundred and eighty. And so I will be able to get that S is equals to eighty eight degrees. Well, we have successfully solved this problem. So if you like this video at any point in time, do give it a thumbs up. And let's move on to the next problem. Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are given that A, B, C, D and E, F are all straight lines. And C, D is parallel to E, F. Find the signs of the unknown angle T. Hmm. Well, first things first. I hope you can see this. Which means that, given this parallel line, I will be able to get that this is also 80 degrees. Same as that because it is corresponding because they are corresponding angles and therefore i will be able to get this t easily because this is a straight line so my t is simply 180 because it is a straight line 180 minusing my 80 to give me 100 because this one here the property that we are using is adjacent 
angles on a straight line. And we've come to the end of this part of the problem solving. Successfully solved this problem already. So if you like this video at any point in time, do give it a thumbs up. And let's move on to the next question. Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are given a line graph that shows the number of newly reported COVID-19 community cases in Singapore for the first two weeks in June of 2021. Pa, on which date was the number of new COVID-19 community cases the highest? 3rd of June yeah so here will be 3rd of June how many new COVID-19 community cases were there on 5th of June so let's take a look 5th of June will be Thirteen, okay. So it'll be thirteen. Express as a fraction the number of days in the two weeks where the new number of COVID nineteen community cases were less than five. So for two weeks, right? The total number of days in two weeks. How many days are there in two weeks? 14 days. So later you will see I'm going to divide by 14. Okay? They want a fraction. And how many days? Let's start counting the number of days that is less than five it will be one two three four five the rest are more than five okay and what's the final answer do leave your answer in the simplest form two over seven And for part D, find the difference between the highest and the lowest. Highest we already know, highest is the red color. Later we see what lowest will be the purple color. So let's see, highest. Highest is on 3rd of June. 35. And the lowest. will be here 2 so the difference will be 35 minus 2 yeah 35 minus 2 so the answer 33 with that we have come to we have successfully solved this particular problem so if you like this video thus far, do give it a thumbs up and let's move on to the next problem. Hello everyone, welcome to this problem where Miss Tan bought M kilogram of flour and she used 2 kg. Used means that we are going to later on subtract. Take away. Okay. And she's going to pack the remaining equally to 
five friends. So if we are going to pack equally, this one will be divide. Okay. So how much flour the each of a friend get? At the start, we have M. Okay. And we will need to minus away 2. And after that, this whole thing, we are going to divide by 5. <coughs> and that will be the answer for this question. successfully solve this problem so if you like this video at this point in time do give it a thumbs up let's move on to the next question one welcome to this part of the video where we are given that the price of a set meal which is p dollar well it depends on the cost of the meat m dollar being ordered and we are given this formula P equals to $5 plus 1.2 times M find the value of P when they tell me what is my M M is 5 that means this M I just need to change it to a bracket and after that using my calculator this will give me a value of 11 and we have successfully solved this problem so if you like this video at any point in time do give it a thumbs up and let's move on to the next question Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are given this pie chart which shows the percentage of the different types of books so in the bookshop 300 books of different types were sold in a particular month so how many were sold in for novels novels is here 33% so it's 33 so for this particular question since I know total is 300 33 percent which is 33 over 100 I just need to multiply by 300 books and I will get 99 So 99 novels were sold. What percentage were enrichment? Well, the total is 100%, yes. And we are given all the percentages here. 33%, 20%, 15%, 12%. So all I have to do is to minus away all the percentage here. And I will be able to obtain the percentage for enrichment which is 20%. Okay. Fraction of the books sold were academic here. Fifteen percent. So if they want fraction, I just need to make this into a fraction and leave my answer to the simplest form. Three over twenty. And what is the angle representing of the sector representing children's book? Since they talk about angle of the sector, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 
12 over 100 of since we are talking about angle this is important angle then we must always multiply by 360 degrees okay this will then give me a value of 43.2 degrees and with that we have successfully solved this problem so if you like this video at any point in time do give it a thumbs up and let's continue to solve the next problem hello everyone welcome to this part of the video where we are given 20 students being asked to choose their favorite online platform from these five choices tiktok instagram snapchat telegram and kick and the results are as follow for part a we are required to complete the frequency table okay so for TikTok, I will have one, so let's just zoom in, I will have one, two, three, four, five, six. For Instagram, let's see, one, Two, three, four. For Snapchat, at the S one. And for my telegram G one two Okay, we are done with part A. Part B which was the least popular platform? We can see from here the least popular in this case was Telegram. What fraction of the students chose TikTok as their favorite platform? You can see there are six students for TikTok and out of the six out of total 20 okay this will be the total do leave your answers in the simplest form so in this case 3 over 10 what percentage of the students chose kick as their favorite platform kick is the last one there is four of them so four out of total 20 times 100 percent since we are talking about percentage 
and this will give me a value of 20% and we have successfully solved this particular problem so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up thank you for watching have a nice day